On here, uh, we usually are pretty pro player. And, and what I mean when I say that is I'm all for the players getting their bread, all for players getting as much money as they possibly can uh, because these franchises, they want cheap labor for as long as they can possibly get it. They want to do everything that they can in their power not to pay these players but to get the ultimate production out of them. And I'm all for players wanting to get their money. And uh, the reason that I'm like that – uh, is because I've been there before. A lot of us have been there before. A lot of us are there right now to where you may be working for a company and they're trying to get all this max production out of you, but they don't want to give you a raise or they don't want to give you the money that you're actually worth. And it can be one of the most frustrating things ever. So that's why I'm always like, hey, if, if this player, if they need to hold out, if they need to go somewhere else, go get your contract, go get your guaranteed money, go get your signing, but go get your bread. Well, Patrick Queen, he did just that. He went and got his bread. He went and got his money. Uh, we had all came to the realization that he was not going to re-sign with the Baltimore Ravens. If he did, we knew it was going to be for a disrespectful, disrespectfully low amount of money. So I'm glad that he didn't because, again, I want these guys to get paid. <laughs> but where Patrick Queen, where he threw a lot of people off is when he went to go play for the Steelers. Now, I ain't got no problem with that. Hey, if it's Steelers that's going to pay you the most money and that's where you want to go, no problem. I ain't got no problem with that. Now, I, I did see a, a lot of fans disrespecting Patrick Queen, calling him all sorts of names and this and that. Now, that part I don't agree with. Y'all know that already. Um, I, I will never agree with disrespecting people like that. And if you're going to talk a little trash, okay, cool. Like, oh, yeah, I hope you go 0-17. Uh, I hope y'all lose every game. Da -da -da, oh, stuff like that. Oh, okay, no problem. But to be calling out his name, and uh, it ain't that serious. And like they always say, it is a business. And I think fans, uh, oftentimes, they forget that it's a business. But while it is a business, it can still get personal because – we have personal feelings for these teams and fans develop personal feelings for these players. And Patrick Queen, it seems like he developed a lot of personal feelings for Ravens fans. And he has some very strong words for Ravens fans that we're about to get into. Before we do it, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on. And let's run them likes up, baby. It'll run them likes up. Even though I know a lot of y'all not going to like what Patrick Queen had to say. But let's run it up, baby. And let's get into it. So um, with Patrick Queen. He signed with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, he signed a, what, a three-year, $41 million deal, but he signed it with the enemy, and that left a lot of Ravens fans upset because most of us, especially me, I had assumed, like, oh, yeah, he going with Mike McDonald to Seattle. They got an opening at linebacker. Oh, yeah, him and Geno Stone, they both going to go over there. But, boy, was I completely wrong and not even close. We had heard rumors a little before free agency, oh, watch out for the Steelers, for Patrick Queen. And I just thought, oh, yeah, that's just one of them little – Articles are they just talking? Okay, he could possibly go to, uh, he ain't gonna go to Pittsburgh, but he did. He went to Pittsburgh, and a lot of Ravens fans were upset about that. And a lot of Ravens fans have been letting him have it uh, on social media. Now, Patrick Queen, gift and a curse. Social media, we always talk about because it gives you access to everybody, but it's a gift and a curse because it gives you access to everybody. And Patrick Queen has been the victim of so many social media moments because what Patrick Queen does, and he's not afraid to let you know it because we would see it. Year after year after year, Patrick Queen will search up his name. He won't even be tagged in a lot of stuff. He'll search up his name and he'll respond to stuff. And it's like, oh, like it's tricky because, yeah, you don't want people just running their mouth about you any kind of way. But at the same time, you're just letting people know that they can say whatever about you and you're going to see it and you're going to respond to it. And he has done that for years with Ravens fans, for years. And just fans in general, too. And it, it could be a good thing. You could be commending Patrick Queen. Oh, Patrick Queen, great job. Hey, I appreciate that, man. Or, but too many times we've seen it where somebody is talking trash about Patrick Queen and he'll respond to it. And I think that was one of the biggest mistakes of his uh, Baltimore Ravens career just on social media alone. But here, uh, recently, Patrick Queen has been getting it from Ravens fans big time because they don't like the decision that he made. They don't like how he made a decision. I ain't got no problem with the decision he made, but then this is where I got lost, though, because let's, let's hear what Patrick Queen had to say toward Ravens fans. He said, honestly, bro, y'all can shut up now. It's not even that deep for us players until game week, and y'all can't understand the fact it wasn't up to me. I gave y'all everything I had now, and excuse me, I gave y'all everything I had. Now when it's time for me to do what I need 
Y'all heard about everything I say. Go touch some grass and fill the void in your life. To one still showing love, even with the switch, this is not to y'all. So Patrick Queen telling Ravens fans, shut up. It ain't even that deep. And it wasn't even up to me as far as him leaving. That part, like, okay, I guess that's him saying, like, hey, I, I really wanted to stay, but hey, they didn't want to pay. So I had to go. I gave y'all everything. So he's saying he put it all out there on the field. Okay, I can agree with that. Um, and now when it's time for me to do what I need to do as far as for his business, for his family, for his money, uh, that now y'all heard about everything that I say. So go touch some grass. So tell them Ravens fans, get outside, go live life. Uh, and feel the void in your life. To the one showing love, even with the switch, this is not to y'all. So, so he was obviously frustrated with a lot of Ravens fans that were talking that trash to him. But see, before this, just a, a day or a day or two before he tweeted that, he was at the presser, his introductory presser for the Pittsburgh Steelers, introducing him as their new inside linebacker. And he said, I like being the villain. I want to be the villain. And, like, again, I'm never for people disrespecting the player, none of that stuff. Uh -uh, no, I disagree with that wholeheartedly. But you cannot get in front of the Pittsburgh Steelers media and really the NFL world. You cannot get in front of them and say, oh, I want to be the villain. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to be the villain. And then send a message like this, showing that you're getting upset over what people are saying. Villains love that. Villains love to upset people. Villains love to tick people off. Villains love to set people off. They, they love making people mad and irate and frustrated and all in their feel. Villains love that. They thrive off of that. So for you to sit, sit there and say, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I want to be a villain. I'm ready to be a villain. And then go around and tell, oh, Ravens fans, y'all can shut up now. Y'all can shut up. Why? How y'all hurt by everything that I say? You're going in two completely opposite directions. But hey, you know what? Maybe this might this might be just what we need to get that Raven Steelers rivalry back again. Cause it's dead. It's dead. But this right here, this may be the signing right here. This may be Patrick Queen with his actions, right? This may be what gets Raven Steelers rivalry back on again. And we need it. We need it. Ravens, Bengals, it's fun. A lot of trash talk back and forth there between the two. Ravens, Browns, it's cool. It's, it's a little trash talk here and there. Not, as, not nearly as much as Ravens and Bengals, though. But Ravens and Steelers... It's just falling off so much, man. So much. It ain't been the same in a, in a long time. And that's for various reasons, but still, it has not been the same. It just doesn't have that oomph that it used to have. Somebody explained to me the other day. I think they was in the comment section. They said, man, from 2008 to 2012, just watching these teams battle it out just to get the chance to play the Patriots. That's what Ravens and Steelers was all about. They were just fighting with each other. Oh, man, it was crazy. Every game came down to the wire. They were just battling it out like crazy. But after that, it fell off. Now, and, and I wouldn't even say just a couple of years after that. Because remember 2014. Remember that year. <laughs> oh, that, that rivalry took another turn that year. Especially come playoff time. But, um, man, I just... I was just lost with Patrick Queen on this, one, man. I, I, I was so lost because it's like he wanted the title. But then when he got the title that he said he wanted, he was like, oh, no, no, no. I don't want it anymore. I don't want to be that villain. But then get this, get this. Because uh, MLF football or MLF football, I think, um, they they felt the same way because they said on Twitter, update, Patrick Queen can no longer handle being the villain. It was just one day. And Patrick Queen said, I can and will. I'm not withdrawing my statement, thanks. Last time I'm saying something. I promise you, I can, I can guarantee all y'all watching this video right now. This will not be the last time that Patrick Queen says something. 
I can guarantee you that. Watch. Because it's it's going to come up whether people are typing about Patrick Queen and cuz again he's he's already displayed this while he was on the Ravens. I don't think just because you switch teams doesn't mean your personality changes. I mean, well, actually it could cuz you, you got a little more money now. I mean, he already had bread, but now he got even more bread now, but just because you switch teams, you still the same person. And Patrick Queen again, he's, he'll search up his name and he'll he'll respond to so much of that stuff. So much of that stuff. So much of the negative stuff. And that lets people know, like, oh, okay, let, let, let's keep on putting it out there. Let's keep on saying it. So with with, with PQ, um, I, I was I was just a little disappointed with that. But hey, again. At least he, he lighting the fire back for Ravens and Steelers. So now when we watch these games, they're going to mean a whole lot more. 